Dry ice works by undergoing sublimation, meaning it changes directly from a solid to a gas without becoming a liquid. It is made of frozen carbon dioxide and remains extremely cold at a temperature of 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike regular ice which melts into water, dry ice turns into carbon dioxide gas as it warms up. When dry ice is exposed to air, it absorbs heat from its surroundings, causing it to sublimate and release thick white fog-like vapor. This effect happens because the cold carbon dioxide gas condenses moisture in the air, creating a dramatic fog. This is why dry ice is often used for special effects in theaters and haunted houses. In practical applications, dry ice is commonly used for refrigeration because it keeps items frozen without leaving any liquid behind. It is ideal for transporting perishable goods like medical supplies, food and biological samples. Since carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air, dry ice is also used in industrial cleaning, pest control and even fire suppression, where it helps remove contaminants without using water or chemicals. Handling dry ice requires caution because its extreme cold can cause frostbite if touched directly. It must also be stored in a well-ventilated area because carbon dioxide gas can build up in enclosed spaces, creating a suffocation risk. When used safely, dry ice is an efficient cooling agent and a valuable tool across multiple industries. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you never miss a new video.